Bang! Neves knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife Kara is at work and in this video we are talking about flipper knives. Knives that have a flipper tab and flip. And we're going to go over a bunch of different companies and some of the best, what I think are some of the best flippers. And then in the end we'll talk about the ones that I think did it the best out of all the knives I show. Now, I'm not going to be able to go over all my favorite flipper knives because there's so many. I mean, even some of the budget companies are doing it better than some of the high-end knives. So let's go over some of these flipper knives and talk about why they're so great. Now, one company that's doing an amazing job with budget flippers is Ganzo. Ganzo makes some extremely affordable knives between $16 and $30, $40, and... The action on some of their knives, especially their flippers, are insane. Like they just they get it, they get it right. I mean, this is the Ganzo FH12, and then here was the original one, the FH11. Both basically the same model. Now I've had a bunch of Ganzo's flippers. I don't have very many anymore because I wind up giving them away because they're so such good knives that they're good gift knives. But yeah. The flipper tab is located in a good spot. The finger placement is really nice. The jimping is really good. And then the detent is not overly strong. But once you break it, it just takes over basically. Now the lock bar tension are usually a little bit lighter on these. And that also makes it drop very, very nicely. It drops shut extremely well. Like this one's a fall shut action. But if you're looking for a good flipper knife and you don't have a lot of money to spend, Ganzo can definitely take care of you. All right, let's talk about, let's go up just a little bit now because we're going to go all over the board right here, guys. I just want you guys to know. So this next one, let's talk about Wii knives. Wii does an amazing, amazing job at flipper knives. Now, if you can't afford, say, a Wii knife, which, which is almost always over $100. Actually, they're always over $100. You can go to either one, their Civivi line, which is like their, I guess what you'd call their mid-grade now, or their Suncut line, which is basically their budget knives. Now, with either one of them, any of them, you are going to get amazing flipping action. They just get their detents done perfect this sun cut actium right here has some of the best action i've felt on a budget knife the relationship between your finger and the flipper tab is really nice that was my fault it's really nice to have jimping that's pretty sharp right there so it, it does bite you pretty good and it's extremely easy to flip whether you're light switching which light switching is just where you put your finger on top of the flipper tab and you pull straight down just like a light switch or push button, which is where you put your finger on the flipper tab behind it and you create tension pushing straight towards the pivot until it breaks. Either way, it works very well. Now, this is, sorry, this is the Suncut Actium. And then this is the Wii Practic. The Wii Practic is another one. They just did it very well. They have amazing placement for your finger. Gives you lots of leverage. And it just pops, man. It just flies open. You can push button this one very easily or light switch it. Um, I think it prefers the light switch. The Civivi Element, very iconic because one of the things is it has amazing action. The flipper tab is located in a really good spot. You have a lot of leverage on the flipper tab and it just works really good. Now, if we want to step it up to a little bit higher end Wii knife, we could talk about the Wii Vapor. Very minimal flipper, and it just snaps. I mean, it's very, very snappy. It's hard to fail this knife. It has a strong detent, and you can actually hear the detent there. Very strong detent. And then here is the Wii Modus which if you look has a very very tiny minimal flipper tab but even though it has a minimal flipper tab it still flies open very very well some of the best flipping action come out of wii knives and you could even talk about their ferrum forge knives the ferrum forge knives are also amazing they just they get it all right 
This is the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop and the Ferrum Forge Prolic. This is done by Wii. And they just, same thing. Their action is just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They just, they do it so good. And they have so many dang knives out there. <laughs> it's hard not to find one that's your style. Just a couple more other Wii knives really quick. This is the Wii Kite Fin, the Sun Cut Scepter, and then the Civivi Pintail. So basically one from each. We got a higher end, mid-range, and then a budget version from Wii knives. And all of them have absolutely amazing, amazing action. The detents are just nice and crisp. The flipper tabs are usually nice and comfortable. This pintail here has whew, some of the best action. I felt from Civivi in particular, I mean, just absolutely amazing. And then the, the scepter, same deal. I mean, it's got a very minimal flipper tab, but man, it just, it, they're hard to fail. And then they're, the, the flipper tabs are normally positioned right, pretty comfortable. Even when they are minimal, they're easy to get to, and they just work so good. Now, I'm going to bring this out, but this is the only the one I've tried from QSP for flippers. I've only tried one other knife from QSP, which is the QSP Penguin. This is the QSP Pelican. The Penguin has thumb studs. So this is the first flipper knife I've dealt with from QSP, but they do a great job. This one's an S35VN. I think it's like $110 right around there. Beautiful micarta. QSP has some of the most affordable and best micarta I've seen next to uh, like CJRB. But yeah, man, great, great flipping action. The flipper tab is well-placed. Your finger has a lot of placement there. Not that it's an overly big flipper tab, but it gives you a lot of placement and it just snaps out. A lot of leverage on that flipper tab. It is very, very false shutty. And yeah, just well done. I'd like to see more from QSP. I've heard a lot of great things. Now let's talk about Best Tech. Best Tech, they're really good at their flipper tabs. So this is the Best Tech fin. I also have the Best Tech Warwolf and one of their higher end knives, the Best Tech Goblin. Now this is a smaller knife, but even for a small knife, Best Tech just did it right. And one thing you want you want to note about flipper tabs is one way you know you're going to get some good leverage out of a flipper tab is if you look at the line of where your finger lands on it and look at how high it is on the pivot. You want it to be above the center line of the pivot. And if they can get that or do that, you get a lot of leverage in that flip. Now, between these two, these are both amazing flipper knives also. I would argue that the Bestech Warwolf might be a little bit better. The, the flipper tab almost looks weird, like a teardrop or something, but man, it just works so good. I even handed this to a custom knife um, collector, and when he flipped it, he said, whoa, <laughs> wow. He's like, man, that thing has some good flipping action, because it does. Great, great flipping action. Great detent. The detent is just very solid. And you can push button it with this rounded part, which is very comfortable. Or you can uh, just light switch it. But even though this is a little bit slippery, the detent and just the placement of it make it to where it doesn't bother you at all. It doesn't bother you one bit. Now, the fin is a little bit of a different type of flipper tab. It's uh, It's got the jimping on there, so it's a little grippier. And in my opinion, it's more of a light switch, but you can absolutely push button it without an issue. But it likes to be light switch just a little bit more. And yeah, Best Tech does an incredible job. I've tried a, a bunch of Best Tech knives, the Best Tech Paladin. I've tried a bunch of their, their knives, but Best Tech does a great job. So if you're looking at a Best Tech knife and you're saying, I wonder if it has a good flipper, it does. It does. Absolutely. Now let's talk about Tucson. I do not have all my Tucson knives out here, but Tucson does amazing, amazing flipper action. 
they do an incredible job with their flipper action. One of the reasons why theirs are so good is because they have ceramic bearings on a racetrack. So they have a washer system that holds the ceramic caged bearings in place for them to roll on. Then they do great detents. And when you mix the two, a great detent with great bearing rolling action, it's, it just it feels like a way higher end knife. Now this one is the Tucson TS-162. This is the Tucson TS2, sorry, the, the Tucson TS116, which has amazing um, jimping on the flipper tab, so you can technically light switch it. And even though it's, it's uh, facing the way it is, it still allows you to get a good um, light switch on there, but you can also push button it just fine now the bronc on the other hand the tucson bronc to me is more of a light switcher but you can push button it without an issue but really really nice action and you can get high-end materials from tucson for a great price and yeah they just do a really good job on their flipper knives now i have some other two sons that i would probably even place higher on the list with flipping action than these but definitely the ts162 is one of the best flippers from tucson in my opinion but like i said i don't have them all here to to compare them but either way tucson does a great job with the flippers let's talk about kaiser Kaiser does a really good job. Now, I've had a lot of Kaisers, and this is the Kaiser Swayback, the Swag Swayback, and this is the Kaiser Sheepdog. Whether it's the mini, the big one, these things just flip. Yes, they have big flipper tabs, but it's got a big, heavy cleaver blade. And this little <laughs> Swayback, it's about the detent. The detent is so crisp on this thing that it makes it super snappy. That button lock, because it's a button lock, is a very strong detent system that it creates, which they did a really good job on. So Kaiser, yes, Kaiser does an incredible job with their flippers. And speaking of Kaiser, you got the Kaiser Lieb. This thing is such a good little flipper. It's so small and compact. But dang it, if this thing don't flip good. Holy cow, this thing flips so good. The flipper tab is so comfortable. It's just so easy. It's one of the most comfortable flippers I felt, especially on a little compact knife like this. Man, so good. The Kaiser Lieb. Now let's talk about Kershaw. And I'm not talking about their assisted knives because to me this does not count but they do have knives with assist i personally think that it's outdated i know a lot of people like assisted knives it's maybe for people just getting into the knife world but knife companies can do flipper action so well they don't need to have assist bars but i understand why they do it and the 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 part of the community that they want to hit when they do that. But like this knife that does not have an assist bar, very, very snappy, great detent. Oh yeah, this was the Kershaw Knockout. And this is the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. The Kershaw Bare Knuckle does not have an assist. Now here is the Kershaw Atmos, another great flipper knife. I mean, even with that little minimal flipper, it just, bang, pow, pops out there. I mean, it's great, great detents. Kershaw or Kai, which is zero tolerance in Kershaw, they do amazing, amazing flipper action, like the zero tolerance 0450. This is one of their higher end knives, and man, this is one of the best flipper knives out there. I mean, it just... It flips so good. The detent is perfect, well-tuned, 
and it's hard to fail. You can hand this to just about anybody and they're, they're never going to fail it. And that goes for a lot of the knives on this list. Um, most of these knives on this list are not going to be failed by anybody, even if they're not used to flippers. And that's kind of the beauty of a great flipper. Anybody should be able to grab it and anybody should be able to flip it. You shouldn't need wrist. You shouldn't need, and when I say wrist, I mean like going like this. You don't, you shouldn't need to do that. You should be able just to snag the flipper and pop it open. To you. Tuya does an incredible job with their flippers. This knife feels like a much higher end knife than it is. And in my opinion, it is way, way, way underappreciated. This should be one of the most popular knives in the community for how good a quality it is. This is the Dave Warren Tuya DW2. They made a DW1 and a DW3. The three is the same. This They're all this same knife. The one is a Tonto. The two is with the drop point hollow ground. And then the three is with micarta scales with this blade. And, man, they just feel so, so much more expensive than they are. They are not cheap. They're a little over $200, but they feel like a $500 knife. Next, Riat. Riat. I mean, enough said, right? Everybody knows Riet does amazing everything, and flipping flipper knives is one of them. They just, man, they feel so, like such good quality. They really do flip incredibly well. Now, they are an OEM for a lot of companies, too. Like, there's a couple knives I could pull out right now that are made by Riet, but we're just going to leave it at the K2 because this is a great example. Kubi. Kubi does an incredible job. Now, we've only got a couple Kubi knives here, and this is the only flipper we have left because we seem to give them away because they are a great example of a great flipper knife, especially when they are the flipper knives. So they just do a great job as well, and they can do it for a great budget. So this one is the Kubi Anteater. Oh, and I'm sorry, this was the, the Riet K2. Now, when you want to talk about some elites, you can talk about the Shuro Gorovs. The Shuro Gorov F3R, this thing, whoo, it's hard to beat. Hard to beat for flipper action. The placement and the relationship between your finger and the flipper tab is just perfect. It flies out there. Very, very badass. Love it. Now, we could bring up like the North Arm Skaha, but these things are incredibly, incredibly hard to get. And this is the only one I've ever tried, but just know it's incredible, the flipping action. But we're going to keep it off the list. And then Protec, I felt a couple Protecs that have flippers like the Protec Mordax and then this Protec Malibu. Another one that's extremely hard to get right now, but I know a lot of people are trying and a lot of people already did. If you have one, then you already know. If you want one, now you know this is such a good flipper. And so is the Mordax. So Protec does a great job with their detent system through their button lock. Now, what knives do I think did it the best out of all of these? I'm going to pull up, let's say, let's, I'm going to pull up a few of them. So we got the React K2. We have the Tucson TS-162. The Shoro Goroff F3R. The Tuya Envy. And... Let's say, ooh, man, it's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one. I'll, I got to pull up one of these Wii knives. So I have a bunch of Wii knives here, but this is very impressive action, but I'm going to, and I'm saying that this is amazing, but I'm going to pull up the Actium because it's under $40 and so impressive. And then the pintail. Now, 
in my opinion, there there's they've done a lot right. Like even the the kite fin, amazing action. The even their other sun cut model, the scepter. So I, I'm not saying any of those are worse or anything like that. But these are the ones I'm going to pick and say they are the best out of all of these knives are these ones. But like I said, all the knives on this list were amazing flippers. You could argue some of them might be are better than others. Now, if I had to narrow it down to the best flipper on this list right here, man. All right, between these two, I would argue, let me just feel it real quick. Um, I'm gonna say the Actium. Man, that's tough. They're very similar. They're the same company, so. Um, We'll just we'll just say we knives Civivi Sun Cut. Then, um, oh man, I might even say they do a better job than Two Sun. Like I said, these were the top five, but let's say these are the top three. A hundred percent, the top three. Um. It's hard to, to say which one's better out of these three. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. These are the top three best flippers in my opinion that I've showed today on the, in this video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.